that's shining That means it's time again for morning Is it with red? Good morning to you It's my favorite time of the day I just love that we get to be together Me and you this way good morning good morning i'm happy to see you you know what today i thought we would look at some words that you probably hear adults using around you words like global warming and climate change and greenhouse gases what are they talking about? <laughs> well, let's look at greenhouse gases for starters. Have you seen a greenhouse before? Here's a picture of one. See, it's a building made out of glass. And the reason people make greenhouses is so that the sun's rays will come in through the glass and be absorbed by the things in the greenhouse. And the sun's rays that would normally bounce back out just into the air are captured within the glass and it holds a lot of the heat that would normally be lost so it's warmer inside now you can see in this picture there's snow on the ground isn't there look inside look at all those flowers blooming so that's a greenhouse some of you have probably experienced this this week it's summer in the northern hemisphere and you might be in your house in the air conditioning and you go outside and you realize, oh, it's pretty, pretty hot out here, right? And then you go to get in your car and you open up the door and you get hit with a blast of heat. I did a test today. I tested the air outside of my car. It was 96 degrees. That's pretty toasty, right? Inside the car, it was 123 degrees. That's 27 degrees hotter on the inside than it is on the outside on a summer day, right? It's the same greenhouse effect working. The sun's rays are coming in through the windshield and through the windows, and the heat is being trapped inside the car by the glass. And the heat then builds up inside, so it's hotter inside than it is outside. Now, if you take a look at the planet, here's a picture of the planet, and the sun's rays come in, and they hit the planet's surface, and a lot of that heat is absorbed by the planet's surface. But the part that would normally bounce back off into space is captured by the atmosphere around the planet. And normally, that's a really good thing, because space is really cold, right? There are certain gases that are really good at capturing the heat of the sun like carbon dioxide or methane, and they're called greenhouse gases. Guess why? Because they capture the heat of the sun, just like the glass in a greenhouse. About 170 years ago, 1850s about, people discovered that you could extract oil and coal and gas from the ground, and these things you could burn to create a lot of energy. They could do things like heat your house in the winter so you wouldn't be cold. They would run engines and machines to do all kinds of cool things or generate electricity for lights and all kinds of things that came a little later. That was amazing. And at first, it, we just did a little bit of this. But as we got more aware of what these things could do, we got very excited, made all kinds of inventions that would run off of this energy. Now, here's the thing. When you burn those fuels, they release gases, like carbon dioxide is the big one, okay? And they go into the atmosphere. And carbon dioxide takes a very long time to break down. So it builds up. Here's a chart that shows how much carbon dioxide has been released over the last 170 years. And you can see it starts going gradually and then it just takes off. When Just before I was born, it really takes off. So my lifetime has been a time when greenhouse gases have been released into the atmosphere unlike any time on the history of the planet. 
it's beginning to create too much of these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and the Earth's temperature is rising above normal. This is called global warming. That's what it means when people say global warming. Okay? Now, what happens in an environment when the temperature starts going up is what we call climate or a range of temperature, how, how dry or how wet it is, what the rainfall is like, those kinds of things, the length of seasons, those kinds of things begin to change. Guess what that's called? Climate change. So in a place like where I live in Southern California, our temperature range can get as cold as in the upper 20s in the winter. I know, we're wimps out here. Um, and in the summer, it can be, you know, we, we get a couple of spells of being over 100 degrees. Most of the time it's in the 90s, 80s, 90s in the summer. But what we're seeing is that summer is longer. Winter is shorter. The amount of rain that's falling is less. It's drier. And another thing is happening is that it rains harder when it does rain and then it doesn't rain. Changes like that. That's called climate change. Now the reason that climate change is important is because animals and plants have evolved over thousands of years, millions of years sometimes. And they do it very slowly. When something changes really quickly, like the temperature that's rising now is drastic to them. It might only be a degree or two, but it's a drastic change for the plants and the animals, and they can't adjust fast enough. So this puts a lot of stress on all the different parts of what we call an ecosystem. All the different plants and animals and systems and processes that go on on this incredibly delicate but magnificent planet that we live on. So we have greenhouse gases, which are building up too fast because of what we're doing as human beings, which is causing global warming, which is causing climate change, which is putting stress on Mother Nature. Those are some words we need to know. And we'll talk a little more tomorrow about what we can do to make a difference to slow down climate change and turn it around. There's a reason why we have brains to figure these problems out. So we've got to shake your brains, figure it out. There's no need to scream or shout. You gotta work that thing you've got upstairs. You gotta activate what's under your hair. You gotta shake your brains. You gotta shake your brains. You gotta shook your brains all day long. Okay? Shake your brains. I'll see you tomorrow. Zulidib dib dib a doob a dib a doob bop.